Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have ELW 382, Christ is Risen, Alleluia. The text by John S.B. Monsell and Monsell. We know his tunes already. Uh, we've had one of the Hymn of the Week by uh, this composer uh, or this uh, lyricist. One, uh, it was On Our Way Rejoicing. And another hymn that's in ELW by the same uh, lyricist would be I'm trying to remember here. Sing to the Lord of the Harvest is the other one that we have. Now, he's composed over 300 hymn texts. So we're uh, blessed to have three of them in the Evangelical Lutheran worship. Also, uh, we spoke a bit about um, John Monsell before. But uh, he had a tragic ending to his life as he fell to his death on top of the roof. He was looking at the work that the church was doing on the roof and unfortunately fell to his death. Uh, but that does not take away from the immense output and value of his hymn texts. He did compose this text for his two children in memory of two of his children. So uh, that's something we do know. And we also know, like most of his texts, they need to be bright, jolly, and upbeat. And so I will make sure to interpret that as such in the playing. Music by Frederick C. Maker. Uh, 1881 Bristol tomb book and what's interesting in this music is that we can see the resurrection a bit musically so we start with that interval of a fourth and we get the fourth in the second line right and now in the third line we get some dotted rhythms to add some energy Right? And then instead of ending in the key he's in, he adds a secondary dominant, the B flat major, which is the five, the dominant of E flat, which is the dominant of the key he's in. So I don't find that any coincidence. And then if we look in the last line, bowing down in joy before him, like verse one, he continues that pattern uh, twice, or even gratefully our hearts, and now the leap is one, two, three, four, five, a sixth. So we have this leap gradually increasing and then the chords changing to then repeat what we just sang at the beginning. And at the end, it tag, he adds or tags a five, one finish. So this is obviously a variation of the dominance of various keys and it's done very uh, creatively but also it's easy to sing. I remember playing this hymn many years on Easter Sunday. It was the Easter hymn uh, at the end of the service almost every year. So it's, it certainly is one of my favorites and it's important that, particularly with the music because we're looking at an older tune, 1881, I want to make sure that it does have that classical feel, even though it's a romantic period, a little classical feel to it, but also that jolly happiness as well. So here's Christ is risen, alleluia.
I always like adding that classical finish to this uh, Easter hymn uh, from the, I left one bit of information out that the text, 1863, it was from a hymnal found in 1863 called Hymns of Love and Praise. Uh, so a much older uh, tune uh, matched with a much older text and we still sing it today. Thank you for listening.